All right, it is Wednesday here at Kennedy. Uh, flannel day, who doesn't love flannel day? All right, starting your day off with a little uptown funk. Ready to do chapter six, part two. Chapter six and eight is part two, page 61. All right, let's get ready to start. All right, we are on the bottom of page 61, equivalent fractions. We are determining if two rates are equivalent using reasoning. All right, so it talks about two different th free throws. Talks about three free throws made out of seven attempts and nine out of 14 attempts. Now, down below, it does this work for you. <coughs> Excuse me. And it shows you to figure out their equivalent, what would we have to do to get from 7 to 14? And it shows you, even though mine is really light, that they times 2 to get there. Well, if we did 3 times 2, what would we get? We would get 6, not 9. To get 9, we would have to go times 3. Because these two numbers are different, these rates cannot be equivalent. All right, so that's the key. If you can't do the same on the top and the bottom, those ratios, fractions, nothing, rates are not equivalent. All right, that's the golden rule to fractions, ratios, rates, any of it. What you do on the bottom, got to do on the top. Get that just stuck in your brain. It'll help you through a lot of fraction and rates and reasonings, all right? So let's look at this one. Selena is comparing the cost of two packages of DVDs. Package of six costs 90, and a package of three costs 45. Are these equivalent? Now, if we look on the bottom here, we've got $90 for 45, and we have to figure out how would we get from 90 to 45. And they did that work for us, and they showed us divided by 2. Mine, again, is really light because mine is a copy of your book. But if we did divide by 2, now if we did divide by 2 on the top, 6, if we divide by 2, would we get 3? Would we get 3? And yes, we would. So these are equivalent. Okay? You can do the same on the top and bottom. It's an automatic. They're equivalent. All right, let's try this got it problem. Move my paper up here. Miss Jeffries had 12 girls out of 16 students on the student council. So 12 out of 16. We'll write that ratio as a fraction. The Earth Day Committee has 4 out of 8. 4 out of 8. 4 girls out of 8 students. Are they equivalent? Well, first, how do we get from 16 to 8? We would divide by 2. Hopefully you can see that. Divide by 2. So what we do on the bottom, we'd have to do on the top. If we did 12 divided by 2, would we get 6? I mean, I'm sorry, would we get 4? We would get 6. I gave you the answer, didn't I? We would get 6, not 4. To get 4, we would have to do what? Divide by 3. So are these equivalent? Are they the same? No, they're not. So your answer should be no. A big fat no. If you can't do the same on the top and bottom, then it is a big no. All right, let's look at our guided practice. This goes over the entire lesson. Let's work through some of these problems. Number one, $24 saved after three weeks, $52 after seven weeks. Are they equivalent? Well, let's find out. 24 after three, 52 after seven. Okay. The easiest way for this one, because we can't do anything to get from three to seven, let's see if we can take these down to unit rates. So if we divide by three on the top and the bottom, we would get... 1, 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 24 divided by 3 is, right, 8. I'm going to move this one over just a little bit. All right, if we divide 7 divided by 7, we would get 1, and divided by 7, and we would get some kind of decimal, because if we think about it, 7 times 7 is 49, and then it would be 56. So this one is somewhere between 7 and 8, but it's going to be a decimal. So would this be equivalent? You don't even have to figure out the decimal. We know if it's not exactly the same, they are not equivalent. So we would say 
no for this one. Okay? I don't need an explanation as long as you show me your work, but I do need you to show me why. I need to see it on paper as to why. All right, 270 calories in three minutes, 450 calories in five servings. Why did I say minutes? 270 calories in three minutes. Oh, I did it again. 270 calories in three servings, 450 calories in five servings. All right, let's get these little bad boys down to unit rates. Three divided by three is one. And let's see, three goes into 27 nine times. So three goes into 270 90 times. If you can figure out three goes into 27, if there's a zero on the end, just tack a zero on the end of your answer. That makes it a little easier, okay? So we got 90 over 1 for that one. Now let's try this one. Divided by 5, what you do on the bottom, we got to do on the top. You get 1 there. Let's see. 5 goes into 45 how many times? Good, 9. And it, since there's a 0 on the end, we just tack a 0 on the end. So we've got 90 over 1 and 90 over 1. Are they equivalent? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. All right. If I'm going too fast, you can slow it down, pause if you need to, okay? I want to make sure I get this through in time. You will get it all uploaded for you. So if you need to, go ahead and pause. All right, Mike can do 75 push-ups in three minutes. Notice how I kind of write this as I read it. It makes it a lot easier for me than going back and trying to find all the information. 75 push-ups in three minutes. Otherwise, underline it. That works too. Eduardo can do 130 push-ups in five minutes. That's a lot of push-ups. Are they equivalent? Well, let's divide by three and get a unit rate. So we would get one. Let's see. Three times what would be 75? Well, if you're not sure, come over to the side and do it the long way. Goes in twice. And five. So 25 times. So now let's do the same on this one. Divide by five. What you do on the bottom, you do on the top. And we would get one here. And let's see, 130 divided by 5. Can't hardly really see my 1 there, can you? See, if going twice would give us 2 or 10. Bring down the 0. And 6. So we have 26 over 1 and 25 over 1. Are those rates equivalent? No. Who's got the better rate? Well, that's a good question. Who's got the better rate? Let's see. This is, this one here is Micah. And this one here is Eduardo. So who has the better rate? If you said Micah, you're right. Because he can do, no, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. Eduardo must be tired today. Eduardo's got 26 push-ups in a minute. So he's doing one more push-up a minute than Micah. So his rate is better. So are they equivalent? No. And if you wanted to explain that, you could say Micah does one more push-up a minute than, I mean, I did it again. And Warhol does one more push-up a minute than Micah. All right, here we go. A human adult takes 16 breaths in 60 seconds. 16 over 60. A puppy takes about eight breaths in 15, in 15 seconds. Are these rates equivalent? Okay. So there's two ways we could do this. This one, I can tell that these numbers are compatible. Where the ones at the top really weren't so great compatible-wise. Like if we went back up to the top here, if we wanted to take 3 and try and get it to 7, it was really hard. Or 24 to 52 was really hard. But this one, we got nice numbers here. We got 16 and 8. And I know that both of those are numbers of 8. So I know that to get 16 to 8, I could divide by 2, right? So what I do on the top, if I do the same on the bottom, 60 divided by 2, what's half of 60? It would be 30, right? Well, we have 15. So are they equivalent? 
No. Okay? So that's another way that you can do it. You can either come down to the unit rate like we did in the above problems, or if you have two numbers that are really compatible, if you can figure out how to get from one number, doesn't matter if you start on the top and bottom, as long as you do the same on both. So I could have, if I didn't want to do that, I could say, how would I get from 60 to 15? Well, I would divide by 4, right? I would divide by 4. If I divide 16 by 4, do I get 8? No, I get 4. I mean, I'm sorry, if I divide 6, yeah, do I, boy, I'm tongue-tied today. If I divide 16 by 4, would I get 8? No, I would get 4. So, because this doesn't work, because you would need divided by 2, and these are two different numbers, your answer has to be no. Alright, so how can we determine if two rates are equivalent? Well, there's two ways. Number one, find the unit rate. Number two, I'm just going to put same on top and bottom. And then parentheses, I'm going to put multiply or divide. You can't add or subtract because it's got to be multiply or divide for those. All right? All right, take yourself a second here and rate yourself. Are you ready to move on? I have some questions. I am ready to move on. I have a lot of questions. I'm not getting this at all. Please be honest with yourself. It's fine either way. All right? Rate yourself. Honestly, if you need the help, I am here to help you. Uh, make sure you are paying attention to this lesson, though. It can get difficult sometimes. The more you pay attention, the better off you're going to be in the long run. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Our objectives today, we are finding unit rates. All right? We are finding if they are equivalent fractions, equivalent ratios. And we are going to close this lesson out. Make it a great day.